Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a necklace or a bracelet using some safety pins and a few beads. So you're going to need some safety pins and a variety of beads. I only used 11 of these large beads and then just a little assortment of some of these beads. Here's how you're going to prepare your beads. You're going to have your open safety pin. Place your beads on the safety pin and close it up like that. Now you're going to prepare all your beads in the same manner. Get all your beads ready and place them in a row the way you're going to like them on your bracelet or necklace. And be sure that you place them so that the bead is on the outside because then we're just going to start threading them from one side to the other. Now here's the center bead and I had room to put extra beads on so just put as many beads as you can fit or you could have your bracelet or necklace all exactly the same size safety pins. I've gotten a piece of chunky yarn but you can use any kind of cord you have, a shoelace or whatever and I have threaded it onto a darning needle and I've tied a loop at the opposite end and this is what we'll either attach a clasp to or we'll attach it to a chain to make it into a necklace. I threaded on three black beads first and when I'm finished I'm going to put this into the darning needle and thread it back into the beads. So now I'm just going to start and I'm going to place this first bead on my cord. The section that you place through your darning needle is the top part of the safety pin like that. Okay, I have all of my beads on my cord. I started with three beads and I spaced two beads between each of my segments because these beads are fairly wide. If you had some narrow beads, you probably could get away with just one bead between each to space. And then I ended with three and now I'm going to make another loop on this end. To make this loop on this end, I'm just going to use the yarn needle and I'm going to make a knot. Pass the needle through the loop and then pass the needle through the remaining loop like that. I'm just going to do that several times. And now I'm going to pass it back through the three beads at the end and pull it snug, trim it off. Now you could just place a bit of glue in between these two beads so that it connects both of those yarns and keeps that from coming back out. To pass the first loop back through the beads, first place your needle through the two beads and thread the yarn into the needle and pull it through. And now you'll have a loop at each end and you can attach a clasp to make it into a bracelet or you could attach it directly to a chain. I have attached a clasp so now I can wear it as a bracelet like this or I can attach it to a neck cord like this and wear it as a necklace like this.